Hey again. In the first video, we learned how we implement the game to for player to play or for two players to play at the same time on the same phone. What you want in this video, you want one player play with a device. And this time, or in this in this way, the device need to decide which cell, which empty cell he should pick. So if you have all these empty cells, the device should say, "Okay, I would able to pick only of from these cells." For now, we don't do really AI device to be able to be really genius to know how to play with you because that need a lot of code. What we want to do for now, we say, say, okay, the device will pick random cell from these cells. So it will pick it randomly. Okay, if you want to add AI on it, feel free. So make the device really genius to play with you the game. But for me, I just want the device to play randomly with me. For example, that means that device, if the device see these four cells, not necessarily the device will pick this one. It will pick any one of these four. Okay, so in this case, uh, when I play, now the second player will be auto play. So all what I need to do is very, very simple, very, very simple. I say, okay, when the first player is me play, the second player will be the auto play. So I would say auto play, okay? Auto play should be a method I haven't implemented yet. So I will go ahead and implement this auto play method. So going down, so this one play with device or say function auto play. This is a play with device method. So the device to play with me, first of all, the device need to identify which cells is empty, none being used by player 1 or player 2. So in this case, the device will say, okay, I need to find what's the empty cell. I say variable empty cells list, or you can say empty cells, because whatever you name them. I define array list. An array list of integer and it is empty. So what he will do here, the device will look from one to nine, searching for any empty cell. I say cell ID in one to nine. It will look for any one of these. If it find any cell empty from one to nine, that means if the not player one. have select that means contain cell id or player2 dot contain the cell id so just making sure hey i want to make sure no player1 and no player2 pick that id i just added to the empty cell list i say empty cell dot add to add it cell id and that is very simple so now by the end of this loop i will have all the cells all the empty cells no one pick them in this case these fours will be added in this list what i want to do i want to pick randomly from these cells so how i do that i say i define val I say okay i have variable r i will use random random method from java make remember random remember that random it is part from java util I just pick this one. Now I want to pick random cell between all these cells. So I say, okay, I say var rand, random index from r dot next. I need to just pick next integer. From what? From the empty cell size. So and using this line, it will pick random value from the cell. You could say plus zero uh, here say my minus zero plus zero because this is how the fundamental work for the for this random method because you define the minimum value as zero and the maximum value but zero for all case zero and sometimes people want to search between 100 to 200 so the minimum value here will be 100 for us we want to search what we want to search from zero to minimum size to max size so will be this is so will be our thing only random. Now I have the random, so I should be all set. Just I say, okay, what the cell that randomly selected? I say cell ID will be equal to empty cell, and this empty cell will be random index. Okay, this way random index. So now I in this one, hey, I know what the cell being selected. Now I want to set that button for that cell, so I would say, okay, variable 
be you selected it is part of from button class then view selected should be equal to when whatever uh, whatever cell id is so play this game for me if the one person pick a one that's mean you mean b1 okay if the person pick two you mean b2 and so on and so forth for two for three four five six seven eight nine and else so this one if the player pick two okay pick two if the player pick three pick three if player pick four pick four if it pick five pick five f six six seven pick seven eight pick eight nine pick nine and else you notice something we learned anew in this video give it b1 you see like for some reason I just added what I did that I said for some reason I said I need just to use uh, this one direct so else will be something like this okay for me here I just using the object direct in Carlton you could use it directly you don't need to use that thing r dot id dot something like that I think even here you don't need to use the r dot id only the object name enough will be this is some new extension in Kotlin they added so you could use it to say so here you need to add extension I think maybe oh no it won't work here so just here keep it as it is uh, I don't want to investigate why in this video so that's why your point you need to investigate why but here I just be able and you could do it r dot id dot object name or you could just here write it just object name without anything that will be will be fine so now I have it selected the button, just I say play the game. I now I have I have the random value selected for the that button, I say play game. And I play game I send this cell ID and be you select. Because to play the game, you need to have two things, if you remember. To play the game even for the previous one, when he picked the button, when he select button, the player, he need to send us which cell he select, one was the button. And same thing for the machine. When the machine pick random cell from the cells, it should send us which cell pick uh, was the machine, which cell machine the machine picked, and was that button. So we could highlight it. So now if I hit enter, I would assume the code should work fine with no issue. Okay, now hopefully everything will work fine. If I play, see the machine directly played. Play here, see the machine picked something. I pick here, the machine picked that one. I would able to win if I just pick this one. I say player won the game. Okay, and then then then. Now you could add more for this game. For example, you not you don't want to make it only one game. You want to, to reset everything. To reset everything when the one player won the game, all what you need to do after the win, if it's one or two, you need you need just to reset everything. Define a function name to reset, uh, reset, and you reset these two player list and player one, and they play again. You play again with the machine and you give put a counter. So your homework for this project would be this. You just define a label here to show how many times you win and how many times the device win. And every time one player win, this thing will go back to the receipt. It's very simple homework. You need to just add a method named clear. That method will clean every all the resource here back to white and all the text back to the zero and after that after I do the cleaning uh, it will just restart the machine the game by restarting player one and player two have you done thank you for watching us